I can't drink, I can't do drugs, I can't have sex with hookers, and I can't gamble anymore. So it's great to be in Montreal. <laughs> Guys, my first night in Montreal. This place is famous for its nightlife. Let's see what the city has to offer. Montreal, it's a stay up late and have a good time town. That's something they do well, and often to excess here, yet always with panache. One of the best nightlifes in North America, and it's known for that. When people from Boston or from New York or Toronto, Vancouver, they come into Montreal and you know they're asking us, well, what, what do you put in your water? Why well, your, your women are so good looking? And what do you guys do to the people here to get them so crazy? And it's just something that's part of our, I guess, our genetic makeup. We just know how to do it right. That's just how it is. I've been hearing guys from Toronto years talking about, oh, Montreal, they had no out there to go party. It's the party central. I've had guys from New York tell me that. Everybody knows that. It's world renowned. Talking with my friends, they're like, you know what? You don't want to come to a crazy city, so we're like, let's go to Montreal. Just landed in Montreal here for a bachelor party. And the crazy thing about this bachelor party is that it's a five day event. This is like a fucking bachelor week. We're not just going to Montreal. This isn't some common thing. He's getting married soon. He's getting wiped up. Starting my life sentence. <laughs> going to Montreal, gonna enjoy ourselves for the next couple days. Here we are. We're ready to fucking party. Legally, yeah. I can in consume alcohol here. Damon got a little buzzed up for the first time because he was 18, we were 18. It's legal to drink here as an 18. Yeah, like, stop trying to blow up my spot here. So, like, I was just doing what's legal, okay? <laughs> this might not be a big deal to the rest of the world, but in Canada, to be able to buy alcohol in a gas station or a corner store, it's a big deal. Because you can't do that. It's so nice. Montreal's always been known as like a cool place. Everyone always went here for like their high school trip or their grad trip or whatever it might be. And I was like, yeah, that's that place in Canada where you can drink when you're 18, that place rocks. During Prohibition in the States, a lot of jazz musicians, burlesque performers, flocked up to Montreal. Montreal was where all the booze was flowing. We were the city that never slapped. We were Sin City. Sin City, abundance of strip clubs, don't be fooled, and they're going to non-contact clubs. Full contact clubs are the same price. This is utterly useless, as always. The club scene is fantastic. From cabarets to dance spots to some of the hottest strip clubs in the world for both men and women. It has a bit of a reputation for how many adult businesses they have, and you won't be able to miss them as you're walking around town. Step right up, we've got strip clubs and sex shops. Strip clubs and sex shops. What? Where are we? What is happening here? How about, some, how about the massage parlor with the triple X on the top? If you aren't used to that kind of stuff, it can be a little shocking. But hey, that's just all part of what gives Montreal its charm. Montreal, that place is the best. Oh, I always wanted to go to Canada. Oh man, you guys should come with me sometime. Montreal has the best strip clubs in the world. They're unbelievable. So here's the thing about Montreal. Montreal is known for having the best strip clubs yes, in the world. Yes, I've heard this. Montreal famous for a lot of things, you know? One of them being the greatest strip clubs in all of the world. Last night, uh, are, you, are, you, are you aware of Club Super Sex? <laughs> Last night I went to uh, Club Super Sex. Uh, I chose the soup, big mistake. Now the reason why they're the best, you can pretty much touch them. Right. That's why they're the best. Montreal, very cool place. Strip clubs, pretty crazy. Yeah. Full contact, except right between except. the legs. Everything else free game. I would say every woman was between an eight to a 10. I was like, where am I right now? Girls dancing on stage, but as they do. Campus, which is one of the very famous male strip clubs here. Interesting thing about the strip clubs here in Montreal, the dancers go 100% totally new. That's a little different than what you see in the United States. Are strippers paid hourly here? Is that right? It's not a tip system? <laughs> it's yeah, it's considered, considered an art, a performance art. It's considered a performance art. So how does that work? You don't What's tip the stripper? You pay for song. You pay for song and you the pay for song. Yeah. And then you can get a dance in the back, which is a private dance. That's why I go to Prague Rock strip bars because the songs are super long. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a bit cheap. <laughs> Having visited Montreal a couple times is why are there so many strip clubs there? <laughs> Man, I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a good question. There's a lot of beautiful girls in Montreal. The tourists, you know, if they want to have fun party in Montreal, it's a good place to be. Now, I got a spot that I go to when I'm in Montreal. It's okay. called Kama Sutra. This place is fucking nuts. Right. Now, I'm getting lap dances, $20 a song. I have two girls dancing on me. I'm so drunk. I don't even know what's going on. All of a sudden, I just look at them and I go, I want you to she goes, yes, we can do this. And I go, how much is that going to be? It will be $20 per person. I go, did you not even raise the price to 
what kind of socialist ass country is this? I'm with my group in a booth. They're all getting laughed as I go, it's the same price if they <laughs> We're in there 334 shit still going. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? It's no wonder why Montreal is so popular for bachelor and bachelorette parties. Montreal consistently ranks on all these lists as one of the best bachelor party cities. Does that ring true to you? Can you give me a Saturday itinerary? Here's what's happening. Let's cut the bullshit. Yep. You just flew into Montreal. Yep. Today. Yep. This is done. You're going to go shower. I'm going to go shower. Yep. We're going to hop into an Uber. Yes. We're going to go to Super Sex. You're going to kiss on boobies. You're going to touch it. You're going to be like, I've never experienced anything like this. Some strange guy's going to come out. He's going to give you power. And he's gonna be like, put this in your nose. And he's gonna be like, okay, Montreal, I only live once. And then you and I are gonna go to the neuro massage. They're gonna lie you onto an inflatable mattress. They're gonna dump oil on you. Two beautiful Montreal women that don't speak the same language as you are gonna come out. And they're gonna roll their naked bodies all over yours. Wow. Then I'm gonna give you a lift back to your hotel. I'm gonna tuck you in, give you a high five, and be like, hey man, it was really awesome meeting you. Remember Montreal forever. I speak to a lot of clients here from out of town, Chicago, New York, LA, Vegas as well. They say Montreal is one of the best spots for dining, dancing, nightlife, you name it, Montreal's got it. We picked Montreal because it was closer and a little bit more affordable than going to Vegas. We had a lot of people coming from all over the country. But I think it's a fantastic city. Last night was great, tonight was great. I had the best time with my boys. Montreal in general is just a really fun, laid back city. You know, everybody's here to have a good time. The nightlife is incredible. If you're into the nightlife, I recommend Saint Laurent. You always have a good time. There's a bunch of clubs. It's very fun, very lively, a lot of young people. Vlogging we out here. Oh, we out we here. Montreal smells like cigarettes and uh, I have a glow on. Yeah, we're looking for a bar right now. <laughs> One of my favorite bars, the Trash Bar. Your eyes do not deceive you. There is an indoor skate park. Yes, those are bras hanging from the ceiling. You don't need a bra to dance. I feel like if the Lost Boys from Peter Pan ever turned 21, this would be their bar. Now on to Abreuvoir. Promoter here liked us so much, he bought us a round of shots. No more shots for me. I'm feeling good. Guys, apparently we're at the smallest bar here in Canada. We decided to get a drink at the smallest bar in Canada. So we ordered this drink called Fresh Breeze, a drink inside a pineapple, golden pineapple. And then I asked him, do you come with it? Alcohol. Yeah. We are trying to find this secret speakeasy. No, I don't want to give up. I don't think he wants to give up. I want to find it. Could it be that one? No. Nope. Oh, hey! We couldn't find it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Speakeasy in Montreal, this is awesome. Coolest bar I've ever been to and probably ever will be. Maison Cloak Group, Taylor. Bar, you go through a secret door, down a dimly lit corridor, that brings you through to a bar. There's no menu, you just describe the flavors that you like and they make the drink for you there and then. Quand on ouvre la porte de cette agence de détective, on se retrouve face à un mur. Il suffit d'appuyer sur la bonne brique et la véritable entrée se dévoile. Le quatrième mur est inspiré des Speakeasy, ces bars clandestins qu'on trouvait aux États-Unis. You know, although there are a lot of nightclubs, you'll find a ton of bars. Music, live singing, comedy. They really value live performance. Live jazz. Who doesn't love shots and jazz? It was a packed house and everyone was having a great time. It kind of felt like New York and Paris had a baby. I was totally into it. The $3 shots were also pretty cool. to a little like can you describe um what this is? it's like techno but multi-level chill floors art very very montreal <laughs> montreal has been very techno friendly for us which is great as detroiters montreal feels very much like berlin where there have been people walking in this door and i don't know what's behind this door and i'm not about to go find out things aren't as taboo people are very open about everything and they don't really judge as much this place over here biggest electronic nightclub in North America. Montreal was a jumping town. 
there was almost as many nightclubs as there were days of the year, and it never closed Montreal. We have a lot of excellent nightclubs out there. You see gas, the boots. Another must in Montreal is La Voute, a magnificent club with an extravagant concept. The vault area from an old bank is converted into a dance floor. Hey! It's a good, nice place. We went to a nightclub. They had a rooftop terrace. Yo, pictures! Pictures are six dollars. Six dollars for pictures. That's a crime. It's amazing, yeah. Just amazing. Bon voyage. Bon, bon voyage. Bon voyage. So impressions of Montreal my life. The more I spend in the city, the less I feel I know about it. It just goes on forever. I'm very impressed. Said it's almost overwhelming, but highly recommend it guys. It's a little bit later now. There's still lots going on. Very busy. The energy is so nice here. The serenity to overcome my enemies. Most times to be quickly. The country we travel leaves. The waters for big waters. Reducing men and our sheets for children climbing up trees of white. It's just so much fun here and just I feel like people here are just like so accepting. Montreal is the best place you have. I swear you have to come here. I didn't finish out my Montreal vlog. I'm gonna blame Rue Saint Laurent. If you've been to Montreal, you know what the hell I'm talking about. If you haven't, go to Rue Saint Laurent and you'll know what I'm talking about. Montreal is legit. I, I advise everyone should go. It's worth it. The food, the fashion, the culture, it's just amazing. The whole city of Montreal just seems to have a buzz to it. Beautiful city. I'll definitely come back. It's my first time and it left a lasting impression on me. I got a big smile on my face. Why? Because the weekend was lit. I'm looking for an excuse to come back. How would you describe this weekend? Oh, I can't tell my mom anything about this weekend. Come mm -hmm. to Montreal. What'd you say? Come to Montreal. <laughs> Words can't describe our night last night. We finished at 226ers. It's the next morning and we're feeling pretty defeated today. I honestly don't think I was ready for this trip. This much partying, this much drinking. How do you feel, Rashid? No words. We went to so many places last night. Last night, we just wanted to like and go for it. And no, before we left, before we left, you remember we were like, you know, it's just gonna be chill. We're just gonna go for oh, a little yeah. bit, see what happens. Yes. That is the rule to live by. There was like a table with all of these like bottles of things and like all the bottles of vodka, glasses bottles and of shot vodka. glasses. So they were passing around these like massive Grey Goose bottles. People were just passing them all around. It was crazy. We stayed until Nesta closed. It was empty. Yeah, we, we did. Yeah, we did. Oh. Oh my God. Every nightclub in town, Edith Piaf started when he came to Montreal. People in the audience, you would have Mel Torme and Frank Sinatra sitting there. I think a lot of people like kind of identify you with Montreal. Well, I was born in Northern California. I grew up in Houston and I moved to Montreal when I was 19 or 20. Yeah, I guess I kind of self-identify as an American Montrealer. I really didn't know anything about Montreal before I moved here. Culturally, it kind of had everything that I thought New York was going to have. Weird dance shows and there'd be a band playing in someone's loft and play records and dance afterwards. And, and it just, it kind of just, the kind of vibrancy of, of culture in Montreal I found so profound. <laughs> Guys, if you are coming to Montreal, make sure that you enjoy because it's so beautiful city. There's everything here. Everything is collected in one place. It's like made for everyone. It's a city where I would love to live. I love everything about it. I'd be out like by school friends, I would move here in a heartbeat. I really do feel that Montrealers and Quebecers have kind of a flair for life. I picked up some of that energy with me when I was living here. Montreal. Montreal. I love this clubbing. Last night was not normal. Last night was crazy for me. And I'm somebody who goes clubbing a lot. All the time. I rep the country everywhere I go. But I will say, it's very few places in the world that know how to party like motherfucking Montreal. For real.